Oh, Mike has been so looking forward to this because it's Girls Night In and we're talking makeover magic tonight. Every Friday in February, we're going to have a little girls' time. And even the guys might learn a thing or two. Tonight, we're introducing you to the Twin Cities stylist. So popular, women come from all over the country to sit in his chair. And he prides himself on making all women beautiful. And as Carol Evans Jenna Shortle shows us tonight, for some, this is a true awakening. For decades, he has honed his craft. Your calling is your calling. <laughs> Christopher Hopkins just cannot help himself. Never could, really. I watched her do her makeup and hair every day. Makeover started as soon as his mom actually. let him get his hands on makeup. She, of course, was his first palette, and it continues to this day. Oh, she was probably the, the muse, is that what you say? Over the years, Christopher's hobby became his empire. Just one look at his YouTube page, and you'll see. He's made over women on local television, national stages, even the holy grail of all things women. Oprah had him on her show, doing what he does best, making women beautiful by simply making them over. This whole process of what, what a before is and what an after is has always been amazing to me. His clients have come from all over the world to his corner of beauty in Uptown. And what he and his staff at Revamp do is nothing short of magic. Sometimes the makeover is about having an intimate moment with someone and telling them they're beautiful and having them slowly reveal someone making them feel special. And special is something this client from Loveland, Colorado deserved more than anyone. Every day was a day on stage, but it was a stage in front of a bunch of hecklers. Susan Box spent 50 years of her life trying to catch a break. I'm sorry. People have always doubted. They didn't think I cared. Didn't think that she cared that she was what she was, a 440-pound woman. Didn't think it would bother her that she was the target of every cruel joke. I cared more than anybody realized. I just didn't know what to do. Until at age 49, she tried one last time. At 3.30 in the morning on a cold night in March of 2008, Susan started working out. In the first year, she lost 100 pounds, and then she heard the last cruel joke, the loudest one yet. It's a before and after picture. I think Susan just changed her shirt. Okay. <laughs> The king of late night nearly killed her spirit once and for all. But thankfully, for once, the cliche came true. It didn't kill her. It made her stronger. And that fueled her weight loss to what it is today. She's dropped 225 pounds. And in the makeover chair of one Christopher Hopkins in Minnesota, needing a new look for a fitness rally she'll attend the next day in the city of Litchfield. You have a really beautiful face. She is why he does what he does, a sleeping beauty who never knew what pretty would feel like on her own skin. Her eyes are wide set and downturned, so we're going to bring them in and up a little bit. It is just hair color, a cut, makeup, and a style from one angle. But look closer, because it's what those are as a whole. They are beauty for the beholder who never knew it. We love it. She looks fantastic. From the man who always seems to see it. I think you look beautiful. And this is why we do what we do. After almost three years of work, Susan Bach, made over in more ways than one, finally took the stage to no hecklers but only to fans. 300 in Litchfield, Minnesota, who were so inspired by her courage and her story that they needed to see inspiration for themselves. It's not just losing the weight, it's living life. For the Care 11 News Extra, I'm Jana Shortle. As for Jay Leno, he did apologize to Susan, even offered to have her on his show when she reaches her goal weight. We'll keep you posted if that happens.